this is a question that we get uh, all the time on Twitter in the discussions, in the discussion forums. If it is a business to business market, does the end user profile need to be of a company or a person? So it sounds like it's definitely a person. It is definitely a person. You should have the person, the person's job title within the company, and then the name of the company. And that's, that's very, very important because when people say, I'm selling to Nike, well, who within Nike are you selling to? Yeah. Because that doesn't really help you. At the end of the day, it's a person who's going to buy it. People buy. And yeah. so you have to know who that person is. I think a great example of this is um, data centers. You know, Google doesn't buy the, you know, the, the, the water purification systems for the data center it actually goes to a facilities manager or a contractor under the facilities manager. So you need to understand that facilities manager or the person at the contractor who's going to make that decision to buy it. So it goes back to understanding the people involved, not this more general amorphous organization called a company. A lot of our students haven't had the interactions with companies to know how to penetrate a company and know who to talk to there. Uh, and for a lot of them, it would seem daunting to even approach, how do I even figure out who at Nike do I talk to? Do you have some specific advice? And this is how you can engage with a company and understand who inside that company you could engage with. When I took my first entrepreneurship class, this was the single thing I remember the most, is how do I go out and just start talking to customers and kind of being uh, an investigator to figure out who's the right person. And it's hard. There's rejection involved with it. But you got to pick up the phone, you got to go out there, you've got to engage with the customers and ask the questions and then ask them to help you find somebody else. And you know, the number one reason people do things is because they're asked. At the end of the day, you have to ask people who is it that would make the decision on this in a nice way. But there's no easy way to do that. You've got to get out there, you've got to talk to customers, you've got to kind of work your way around. There is today some research you can do, and you can get onto forums, um, and you can ask other people online. I've seen terrific um, results from that in courses we've had. They find a group that has a specific interest. Um, one was doing a, um, a beacon that would help you in case of an earthquake or natural disaster to find your children. And so they actually found a forum out on the internet, and they started asking questions. And in that way, they found a lot of customers. But you can't do it just by internally studying it yourself and talking to your team. You have to go out and engage with customers, be it face-to-face -face or be it through forums on the internet and then follow up on it. One of the advice uh, given to us by Vanessa Green on yes. how to engage with big companies, she would go and find articles by people in those companies. Yes. And then read those articles and write thoughtful emails that went to the heart of those, uh, those articles, and that would serve as a basis for conversation. Yeah, there's nothing better than to open a conversation, an email or a conversation at a, a trade show or a phone call with, I read your article and I was very impressed by what you said, and have, give some specific um, facts to, to show that you read it, because that's very flattering to the other person. And now all of a sudden they're going to listen to you but a, a blind survey is not going to get you very good results. Well, I think the, the most important thing to remember, and you said it in the very beginning, uh, yeah, you will get rejected a lot, yes. but as long as you feel like you're winning three to two, you're doing fine. Well, the other thing I say, because I coach basketball, is, you know, if you, if, if, if for Dean, you're on my team, and, and you make all 15 shots in the first half, and the buzzer goes off at halftime, you better run to the locker room because I'm going to be running next to you screaming at you, why didn't you shoot more? Because you've got to shoot until you miss if you're going to be a great basketball player. If you want to be innovative, you've got to push it until something goes wrong. Otherwise, you're really not pushing it far enough. So rejection is part of the process and that's part of the whole thing we talked about last time about getting all those planets aligned. Fantastic. Well, the next question from students is, about market segmentation, and I hear it very often. You know, most entrepreneurs don't operate in a vacuum. Mm -hmm. They have a particular idea for what they want to do. They have a sense of some problem that they want to solve. And they ask, why do I even need to do market segmentation? Well, I already know what to do. Yeah, this happens all the time. 
I have an idea. Teachers should be able to use an iPad to correct papers. And I said, that's great. That's great. Let's, let's talk through that. Which teachers? Well, any teacher. No, 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 no. Is it, is it a middle school teacher, an elementary school teacher, a high school teacher, a college teacher? Is it a teacher um, who teaches science or history? You know, so almost any problem, we can segment the market further. And that's very, very important. Um, and I think that part of segmentation is to look at all the different people who could potentially use your solution. And then, then we're going to choose the one that we, we want. The one that you often start out with in my companies, if I just chose quickly without looking at all the different possibilities, I would have chosen suboptimally. Um, so I think it's good to look at all the different ones, even if you think you know, and then allow other people to contribute to an analysis. And then, then you can choose a well-defined target customer.